we just say the first movie out, you're going up with Sandler? And then yeah. when I saw that too, and then after watching the movie and realizing that one, you're playing the bad guy, and two, um, <laughs> opposite Sandler's daughter, as if it's not pressure enough that Sandler's producing and starring in it, but now you're having to go toe-to-toe with his daughter – I, I would have been terrified. I'm like, oh, crap. I, well, I can't do anything wrong here. Talk about that. First of all, the casting process and how awesome that was and how did that come about. And then talk a little bit about that, the being on set and having the pressure of Sandler, who's had massive success and also started young. Um, just talk about that a little bit and what that whole experience was like. I mean, yeah, honestly, obviously one of the greatest experiences of my life, you know, like that I, friend just from the gate, you know, the audition process, um, you know, obviously got a call. It was a, a request, which made me, you know, very excited. For and, sure. Uh, and, you know, yeah, did the audition and was like, you know, I like this and, you know, got great feedback. It was awesome. Uh, I think we waited a couple of weeks, but yeah, I got a call back and it's like, all right, we're getting closer. Let's see. Let's see where this goes, you know. And, um, and so, yeah, I got the call back. Uh, they wanted to do a Zoom. I met with Sonny. We did a Zoom together, kind of just like a chem read. Yep. Um, and actually, Sandler popped his head in on that one and nice. said what's up. And it was that. That was like, oh, like that. You know, that was, <laughs> um, really just like kind of a shocking moment, you know. Um, but, yeah, and, you know, uh, waited a couple weeks. And it was like, all right, we need you to come to Toronto, Canada in four days you got it and it's like oh okay cool awesome. wow. <laughs> yeah. so, no problem okay. yeah no no problem yeah it sounds good you know um and yeah i mean obviously it being a shock um but it was just it was just like a really great feeling you know i it was just like it was i don't know it was like euphoric and um you know the whole process getting there you know like the first class seats on the plane it's like it's just it was it was just really awesome to get spoiled a little bit. Um, and yeah, I mean, as far as working with Sandler and going toe to toe with his daughter, Sonny, who's now my really great friend. Um, I mean, that was just an amazing, amazing process. Um, I mean, yeah, no, they're just like the realest people probably in entertainment. Like I've had some of the realest conversations with the cast of any of the people I've encountered in my life, you know, and it was just, it was just great working with them. You know, there, it was just the chemistry from day one, uh, become, becoming friends. I mean, it's just like, you know, it's like five kids, you put them together and you just get to run around Canada and film a movie during the day. You know, it's yeah. like, it was, it was just awesome. You know, truly. Yeah. <laughs> I love that, too, because it looked like a really fun movie. It did. One, you got to go to, like, I don't know how many freaking bat mitzvahs was in that movie, like five. So you got to go to all these different parties. And then I also feel like, you know, doing our research on you and going through, like, your Instagram, a lot of your clothing choices and costume choices looked like something you would actually wear in real life. So did you have any input in your costume design? Because I feel like that just came right out of your closet. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, Jordy who uh, love, love, love her. Yeah, she's <laughs> one of the most talented people I know. We had great chemistry from day one, obviously. Uh, in the first, in the first uh, kind of, when I, um, in the first fitting we did, you know, obviously great chemistry. Um, and yeah, I could just tell, like, and we, and we kind of just like vibed it out a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, you know, like I, I for sure love Andy's clothing choices. Um, <laughs> and I think that's something that me and Jordy got to play around with a little bit and have a, a lot of fun with. Um, and it was like, you know, I'd see my wardrobe and I'd be like, Hmm, maybe I don't like this piece. And I just run over to the costume trailer and be like, how do we do this or this? Yeah. It's super fun. Cause we got to like figure it out together. And it was just, it, I think we really got to create this sort of style for Andy and it definitely bled a little bit of me but yeah no and uh luckily got to take a couple pieces home <laughs> I was about to ask yeah yeah, uh, yeah. for sure wear them a lot <laughs> nice um, nice yeah a huge thank you to online ceramics who mm. I was wearing a lot of in the film 
um, yeah, I, their stuff's awesome. And yeah. so building on that, so you had a little bit of leeway there. You had a little bit of input, say, and Sandler, I'm assuming, is just an ad lib off the top kind of a guy on any film he does. You could just see that. Did you have that ability? Was the was the director friendly with? Could you take it a little bit here or there, or play with the dialogue, or I mean, were you able? Because you seem like that kind. Of, anybody who, who references Ferris Bueller as the as the motivation, I feel like is gonna make some ad libs. Is gonna kind of go off off script a little bit um were you able to do that and 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 how was that the chemistry and being able to say hey i don't feel real comfortable here maybe i wouldn't say it this way or that way did you have that luxury to be able to do that so yeah so luckily with our amazing director sammy cohen we were obviously given that great luxury um i mean and it's, it, it was it was a really fun process because um, I mean, yeah, you know, it was like ad living here, ad living there, and and it kind of just having fun with the script, you know. And it's like Andy is this very precocious and just not obviously nice person. <laughs> so you know, you it, like like in uh, the uh, the retirement home scene where it's like I'm dribbling away the basketball and I like cross up this old man. It's like yeah. I have to kind of play and toy with like what I was saying and you know mm-hmm. like if I was yelling at him or like Goldfarb rules or whatever, you know. Um, and yeah, I mean, we got to play with that a little bit and it's just, yeah, I mean, it was just super fun, uh, to be able to like mess around with just whatever, you know, lines were in the film.